Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Rust video on a little wire trick I found out not too long ago. So you start with uh, one end of your wire, don't, don't bother connecting it to anything like the walls or anything, don't bother routing it, just come straight down to whatever you want to connect it to. Uh, you see I have about 9.6 meters left, uh, and what I want to do is I want to bring that all the way down to 0, 0.00, as close as I can, so that's still a little too, a little too far. Okay, this is what I want. So, see how the uh, the wire will connect to the outside of the turret, but it won't, that red dot, see it won't reach all the way to the socket. Uh, so this is what we want. So what you want to do to connect it is you come around the other side, Just keep looking at the spot where it will connect, come around the other side, and there we go. So I'm looking at the spot where it will connect to the edge of the, of the turret, but I'm looking at it through the socket, so the socket will allow us to connect to it. And there we go. And now the wire's completely disappeared, and the turret is powered. Now how this works is the game will not draw a wire longer than 30 meters. So by connecting the wire um, through the socket, by looking through the socket there, um, that forces it to, uh, to connect um, even though the wire would only reach the outside of the turret right here. Um, let me show you again. Here we are. Come out. Down here. You know, 9.9 .9 meters, let's get rid of that. Another one meter to get rid of. Five meters. Yeah. And see, it's definitely, it's not reaching at all. It only reaches about here. I'll even take a little bit more off to see, show you it'll work even right at the edge of a turret. So let's, let's see. Right, yeah, this one might be a little far, but let's see if we can get it right there see it's connecting right to the lip of the turret here but I'm looking at it through the socket so it's forcing the wire to make you know to connect the socket even though it'll only reach to the very very edge of the turret there so it's right there which stretches the wire longer than 30 meters by you know about this much about half a meter and uh, then it doesn't draw the meter but it still gives you power now what this allows you to do is if you're like me and you like to keep your wires nice and tidy, it allows you to completely eradicate wires altogether. Um, so you know you don't have to even worry about what your wires look like. Uh, so it lets you wire farther away. Because um, I know one thing I would always run into is if I wire my, you know, if I route my wires into all my corners, then I'd run out of wire before I even got anywhere close to the turret, right? But if I just go straight from the turret to the power source, like this. 1.7, let's get that down. 3. This one's just a little bit further off. A little further. A little bit more. There we go. So that's at zero, 0. You see the red dot? It won't, it won't reach the socket. But if I just come up to the edge here, until the wire turns green. If I stand up, I have a little bit more leverage. There we go. Wire is green, socks highlighted, but I know it can't physically reach. Like that. And connect it, and it won't draw the wire, but the turret is still powered. So, a little trick. Uh, it'll help you power things farther away while keeping your wires nice and tidy and invisible. Uh, almost wireless, you might say. And, uh, yeah, you won't have to spend all that extra time fumbling, putting you know, wires right in the corner in the corner, come down to the first floor, you know, and putting it down this corner, then coming back up to whatever your floor your exit's on, coming in and out, and then plugging it in after all that time. So, yeah, hopefully this uh, little trick helps you wire your turrets faster and keep things nice and neat and tidy. Thanks for watching.